If you've ever had to confront a coworker, you know, in an awkward situation, let us know. 800 682 1075 because it can be very awkward. Um, it happened to one lady. Imagine this. She's on a Zoom call. There's shared screens. There's messages going back and forth. And what the guys in the meeting didn't realize is that the messages they were sending to each other oh, gosh. about how hot the new, I don't know if she's a new lady or the sales lady was. or she's oh. She was interviewing potential clients. Okay. So oh. they're trying to get her business. Okay. okay so yeah. at least they said hot. Yeah. I thought they were being derogatory. I mean, I would take hot over like, oh, you're freaking yeah. disgusting. Yeah, if sure. anything, she should thank them. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but here she is. First of all, if we're going to continue working together, I want to work with a woman sales representative because I don't want to have to see locker room talk about myself when you're sharing screens. So if we're going to move forward, I would like to work with a account rep that's maybe a woman in the area so that we can move forward that way. I, mean, I know that was a mistake, but... I, I don't want to see that's like inexcusable yeah I, I just don't want to see like locker room talk about myself so <laughs> and they're like oh yeah, yeah. you're right it's inexcusable it's inexcusable yes. you're hot but yep. i mean I, I'm, I'm oh, 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 yeah <laughs> look at that right <laughs> <laughs> we could i like the product i know it's good i know it's tried and true but i just want to work with a woman like moving Absolutely. forward if possible <laughs> So okay. 100% completely understand, and that's inexcusable. Um, regardless of when it was a mistake sharing the screen, it shouldn't be talked about. So apologies on that. Uh, he handled it appropriately. I'm not hearing I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm he hearing did. my apologies. Did you not hear it? That's the same thing. Nah. He sounded He sounded straightforward and yeah, truthful. Yeah, I mean, I, I do. He, even he said, said, he said. And even said, um, even... He said, even if the screen weren't shared, it shouldn't be talked about. It should not. So, exactly. So, I mean, he took an, mm. another level like, oh, sorry, the screen got shared. Also, even if it wasn't shared, we shouldn't be talking about mm -hmm. that. But so you know, pretty much innocent and didn't do anything. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know what's so <laughs> funny about everything? It's like, we. she wants a female one. That's fine. I get it. But in real life, that wouldn't have been shared. And it would go on. And not, there's no harm done. Jason. In real life. It's true. This is real life. What do you mean? I, oh, like, like in person? Like, yeah, it happens all the time. It just happens to be, it happened to be leaked out on the screen. Oh, either I see way, what you're it's happening. Either way, it's happening. It's just that <laughs> she and happened to either that. way, it's wrong. She's yeah. doing business with these people. Why is he yeah. talking about Iraq? Why is he saying she's, she looks good? Like, mm -hmm. stop. I didn't hear Control a thank you from her. yourself. <laughs> Listen, you are just disgusting. You really are. Yeah, it happens, but the point is it shouldn't be. I'll tell you one thing. If I was making a presentation and all of a sudden two girls were and I come across this thing, my gosh, I don't care that he's short. He's hot. I would be thankful. That's because you're Jason Goodman. That's why. I think a lot, of guys, a lot of guys would feel oh, good about it. I would be feel great about it, but, yeah. it, mm -hmm. but, it's, but it's, it's still not the norm for us. But, Katie. I'll yeah. take it. If there's a hot guy that walked into this, which – I know you're, you're desensitized because you work with hot guys. Oh, my God. But there's a, 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 no, for <laughs> real, a, a legit hot guy came in. <laughs> I know yeah. you and Josie, but oh, my gosh, did you see so-and-so? He's so hot. Like, he was like legit super hot. Disgusting. Okay. It doesn't ever happen. Well, so we've I, had some how can celebrities suspend... come in before. You were single at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, single at the you time. You were staring at his crotch. Well, let me ask you, not. Katie. He was hot, though. Let me ask you, yes. Katie. Yeah. And this girl confront on the screen, and probably when she gets home, she's like, just to let you know, these guys thought I was hot. But if, if Katie was doing a presentation up there, and there was two good-looking guys saying, my gosh, this girl is really good-looking, and they were making compliments to Katie, you don't think Katie's going to be deep down inside going, yeah. Well, that's because <laughs> I'm not a former beauty queen like this lady was. Oh, she is former. It. And yeah. it's funny how the articles are all written, too, about her. They're like, uh, former Miss Massachusetts winner posted a TikTok, but I'm like, Okay, but she's actually working for a company, you yes. know? So I would take it because my, my self-esteem is low. So <laughs> I guess I would it. take it. So it depends on the circumstance. But for her, it's like she's just on a Zoom call, sitting there trying to get her point across, trying to listen to what she's talk, what's happening, and be a part of the business conversation, and they're like, check out a rack. Yeah. But, but like, for you, on. but for your circumstance, <laughs> it's okay. For hers, it's not. Is we that also, what you're saying? We, no, I'm also saying we also work in radio, so it's hard for me to imagine myself as a business executive. Well, mm. Katie gets it all you the time, know? and yeah. she'll do a lot. Video. There was 100%. something we did a TikTok. No, no, no. It was a clip because we have cameras in the studio, right? Yeah. And a squid uploads those. I think it was on our TikTok, and it was just some clip, and it's a five box. I mean, there's five screens, you know, because there's five people on the show, and somebody's like, 
oh my gosh, Katie's got this hot secretary vibe going on. She's wearing glasses. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I, yeah, we're yeah. not talking about being a secretary. <laughs> we're not talking about looks. We're talking about who knows yeah. what. And the, yeah. the only comment, the, uh, not the only, the first comment was, Katie's so hot. I don't ever see those. Jerry's I don't always see it. But, I just don't. Yeah. I don't if, go to any post that you're on. I don't. But you're accept- <laughs> it's accepting to that. Yeah. I know what you mean, though, Because Katie. we work in a very different... I, I can't imagine being in a corporate setting on as... I can't imagine no, I it. can imagine you I actually cannot. making a presentation at some kind of corporate or event, or not even corporate event, just some kind of charity event or something, and all of a sudden that happens, and I think, like you said, you'd be like, mm-hmm, that's cool. I feel better about myself I'd now. I'd probably still feel very awkward, especially if Maybe. you're trying to get your point across. But if somebody was like, wow, this girl is smoking hot, I think you're going to feel good. And it also is, it is demoralizing and demeaning. It's like she could say whatever she wants because she's hot. It's like she's actually trying to do her job. And it's yeah. 2023. No. 20, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. no, I, Control no, I, yourself. I, I, feel what you, I do understand what you mean. Like they shouldn't have done it. Yes. But I also find it kind of interesting that she doesn't want to be objectified, but she was also a beauty pageant contestant. Well, so what? I'm just saying, like, her whole thing was, look at the way I look. Her whole it's, existence and, like, every article is about her being winning beauty pageants. Okay. That's kind of, well, it, that part to me is interesting. But what if her she whole, wasn't? What if she different. wasn't? No, then it's like, it, then I think it, you're, it's a little bit different. I guess. I don't but know. Her I whole, think... You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're like a Playboy model and you're like, then you're like, don't look at me. And it's like... <laughs> But that's what you <laughs> you wanted people to do yeah, it. She is pretty sexy. I do. I do think yeah. that it's good for her for calling him out because this kind of oh. thing happens all the time. No, I mm-hmm. um, all the time. It's very hard to call out a coworker mm-hmm. or anybody in a very public way, and that takes courage because that's yes, hard to do. Absolutely. It's just like eh, I'm not doing it. Like, I don't want to deal with it. All right, let's go to Paula. You had to call out a coworker. Yes. All right. What happened? Yes. Sorry. Um, okay. I was. Um, I had said something to a, a coworker, and she was. And I turned around in my desk, and in front of me, I have a win. I had a window, and I knew that she didn't like what I said. And I tur- And when she, when I turned around, I could see her in my window, and she was doing a dance and a ugly face behind my back. <laughs> So I turned around, turned back around, and I said, "I highly suggest the next time that you decide to make a face behind somebody's back, you make sure they can't see you in their window." Ooh. Ooh. What did she do? What did she Can't do? She, her and the other girl that was standing next to her, they looked straight down and turned around and walked away. Nice. Mm-hmm. nice. What, did, what did you? Uh, <laughs> what did you do that irritated her? I don't know. It was just, I think, because I was older and she was young and she just, you know, being, she just had things, I don't know. I don't know what it was that irritated her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was just a, you know, she just needed to mature some more. It sounds like it was just a workplace. Yeah. Yeah. Uh (laughs) Exactly what it was. That's exactly what it was. Well, good for you for doing it um, because I know I would have saw it and been like, Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just felt bad about myself the rest of the day, and then told all my coworkers, They're "Making a face behind yes, my back." Can you I would that? never <laughs> confront them yeah. about it. All right, let's go to Emily. Emily, you have something you want to say about the audio we played of the lady who was, uh, you know, in a sales call, and the guys on a shared screen were like, "Oh, she's so hot." Got to call them out. Yeah, I I just wanted to throw in my support for Katie because I think the context really matters, right? If she's a beauty queen, yes, she is putting herself in a position of objectification, but as she moves into a different context, right, into a work environment, she has the right to not be objectified, no matter what she looks like, no matter her history. And I absolutely agree with Katie that it was inappropriate and that it happens all the time, right? You also have to think about the power dynamics and, like, the history of objectification. Women tend to be more objectified than men. Men are objectified in certain situations, um, and that shouldn't be done without their consent either, right? But in this in this situation, I think she was absolutely right to call them out, and, frankly, they're gross. What about yeah. – well, let me ask yeah. you something. And, Thank, you. Um, Thank you, Emily. And I agree Emily, with you Emily, on that point. What what happened? What about in the context where well, if it comes across, because you said the context because uh, of of she used to be a model and now she's at work. But what about in circumstances like Katie said? Well, if that came across, and I can't imagine me being a um, business executive, but yeah, I probably would like, I would like it. I would feel good about myself if somebody said I was good looking. 
is it ma depends on the person and their attitude on it? Emily? I, yeah, I hear that. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I think that even if somebody's okay with it, it shouldn't be the norm, right? Because that you never know who you're going to be uh, talking to. Offending. And I, it's just work objectification in the workplace, right? N generally not appropriate. Yeah, Even right. if somebody is flattered by it, I think that's where I'm coming down. Okay. That's yeah. what I'm coming down on. Just, you don't know. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. Thank Just you. for the record, I want to be objectified. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Okay to be well, objectified. And, and I think, and I'm not saying that all men do this, but it, the men who do objectify are the ones who say, well, I'd be okay with it because in their mind, Object, they're like, what? It's a compliment. No offense to you, Jason. I'm not you know, offended. So, like, you think it's okay. I just said, don't flattered. say I thought it was okay. Well, but For me, it would be okay. Sure, because you you can see how, like, you're very looks-based, right? You, mm -hmm. you are. And so you'll, when you give a woman a compliment or you think that a woman looks good, it's basically based on how she's looked, how she looks, and how she's presented. So in your mind, you're like, well, I gave a compliment, and I, that would be a compliment if she did it to me. Well, well, the point is, it's not acceptable for anybody to do it. Well, in my mind, I don't usually ever give a compliment. Well, and there's that. I, I would be even <laughs> yeah. more there's afraid that. to get, give a woman a compliment in fear of some kind of retaliation or some, something inappropriate, so I just don't. It's not retaliation. Right. It's just not appropriate. No, but yeah. I, even when, in the right context, mm -hmm. I just... No, yeah, like right? I know. Uh, and hold yeah, on. And then for me, so I don't do that, and I do think that would be inappropriate. But I'm just making a point for me mm -hmm. that it doesn't matter for me at all if somebody does it to but me. But when other people do it, you don't know if the person's cool with it. You no, don't know. I, I think how you're gonna... an idiot if you just go around like objectifying men or women. Especially, yes. it happens more with women. So with women mm -hmm. in a, in a work setting. And just hoping it's okay with them. Right. It's like really stupid. And hoping it's not going to get back to them. Right. Because people cannot control themselves when it comes to gossip and no, 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 and no, office no. Like chatter. if guys want to talk about it amongst themselves, there's nothing wrong with that. No, yeah. no. But what I'm saying time. is, don't think that it at some point won't get out. Uh, it's we possible, won't yeah. hear about it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we've I, all known guys who are they they'll tell anybody and anyone or anything that will listen. Yeah, I bang that. You're like, oh, mm -hmm. well, that's a whole different thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's, that's you, my you point. You jump like ten steps yeah, ahead. Yeah, no, no, but I'm saying bang that here. or she's oh, hot. Oh, or, oh, I you saying oh, like I do that. They said they or, worked yeah. with a co somebody and they had hooked up. Yes. And then they're telling their guy friend. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right it's about like, that. Don't I think thought that's you meant not like come out. I tell Jason or Jason tells me, oh, so and so is really hot. And it's like he's like, I banged that even though he didn't. I'm like, what? No, no, no. I would bang that. I don't know. Yeah. No, but we've all known people who can't control themselves. Yes, that is. True. I mean, there's somebody at work here, um, one of our sales, I think is very stylish, mm -hmm. and you probably can all get And I remember even a few years back, I was like, hey, you look really nice today. And as soon as I said, I'm like, oh, I should have said that. I should have said that. And it wasn't objectifying. He said, like, she is really stylish. That's uh -huh. why I like, avoid next it. So I, I, avoid, I avoid it all. I won't. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. Katie, at this point, maybe I'll say something about her hair because... We're again a or her leather pants. We're or a different dynamic, dynamic pants. Just because no. she knows that. Yeah, it's different. It's yeah. no way that I'm. Like, I would ever touch you. Ever <laughs> not, with a that's not what I said. Foot that, stick. Was, first of all, I already said that. I beat <laughs> no, you to I the punch. First, I said she knows that I would never be interested in her. But, <laughs> right, right. But you know what I'm saying. But I would never, even anybody now, even say like, "Oh, I really like that dress." That to me, that could be. Yeah. Uh, so now it co it comes to the point where it's a lot of guys will not even give any compliments because they don't. Sometimes it's like a gray area, and to each their own of what's inappropriate or appropriate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a slippery Better slope. Better safe than sorry. Yes. Let's go to Demi. Uh, you want to say something about this lady that uh, was being objectified on a Zoom call, like a sales call, and she called them out and said, "Hey, I don't want you doing that. I want to only work with female sales people from now on." Go ahead, Demi. Oh, sorry. Hey, I was just going to mention that um, as a woman in the workplace, if somebody has said something to you in the past about, like, your appearance, like, your body, um, sometimes, like, that can affect you negatively. And then going forward, when anybody at work, even women, comment on your body, it just kind of, like, gives you a feeling of, like, I don't know, like, feeling like you're being taken for granted just for your body and not for your work. Mm -hmm. So, like, depending on 
who it is. You don't really know, like, what they've dealt with in the past. But I don't think anybody should comment on women's bodies at work. Well, I will say this. Mm-hmm. I hear women mm-hmm. all the time. Oh, I love that dress. Or I love that. Oh, where did you get that? I love that necklace. Whatever. They're being hypocrites. Uh, accessories <laughs> or, or clothing. <laughs> yeah. Women do it nonstop with each other. Right. Mm-hmm. Without a doubt. Even to guys sometimes. Katie once in a while say, oh, I like that shirt. Oh, yeah. It, but, I do. I but do. it's the opposite way. I've never heard a compliment my way from Katie, but that's <laughs> that is but not But you see what I'm saying? You never I typically have your top ten quick. I'm not. No. I'm not. No, she you need has. You to start you writing have. it down. I know. You, but you so do you do you think that's okay? Because she was like, she's basically saying I'm on their body. But do you think it's okay when women compliment other women in the workplace about a certain shirt, dress, outfit, pants? Especially here, like, oh, your butt looks good in that. Yeah. If a guy did that. It would oh, be. Oh. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I think there's a line. I do think there's a Based line on where gender. Yeah, um, it's different with women for the most part, because if it's a genuine compliment, I think sometimes there's also the catty compliment. Like, mm-hmm. oh, I like your dress. Right. You know, and you're like, because if it's tight or something, you right, know, right. the, the cattiness can come out too. I think it's just best to just not. So, but just best to just not. Even for Com- women. Yeah, I do. So you don't want women to say, okay, oh, I really love your sweater. Or you rather not hear that. <sighs> I liked your uh, your think. brawny thing you wore the other day. <laughs> you know the brawny guy oh, in the yeah. towels. Mm-hmm. He did. Yeah. She wore. She looked like a lumberjack, but I liked uh-huh. it. It was, it like was a, so was different. A lumber, lumberjack look. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Jason, I don't know. I'm so. I'm just not the right person for this. But I think there's also reality yep. to the fact that there are social norms for a reason, mm-hmm. and it's a so- social norm for girls to be. Hey, I like your hair, and right, it's sure. not. There's no. There's nothing behind it. Like. Like if Jason's like, it's not I like sexual. your hair, and he's like sniffing your hair. Right. Like, oh, this might lead to, he might be trying to do something. Yes. Not yes. Jason. I'm mm-hmm. just saying Jason as a guy. Uh-huh. There was maybe something behind the mm-hmm. fact like, oh, your butt looks good in that. If a guy says it to you, you're like, he's hitting on me. If it's Josie, it's because she wants you to talk about her butt or, or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Just, I don't want you. I, get, I say I'm not the right person because I'm like, I don't dress in any sort of provocative way. It's just not, I'm not who I am. Provocative. But just I don't i am very uncomfortable with that kind of talk in general. So I would rather just not hear it. Oh, I hear women all the time. I like that yeah. dress mm-hmm. or I like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, where did you get that? You know, I think it's very normal. I think it's definitely a social norm. So even when it comes to women, you rather not hear any compliments about anything you're at wearing? Work, or... No. Okay. At my, my girlfriends, yes. With my husband, absolutely. At work, it's unnecessary. Okay. I mean, it's, you know, I don't take offense to it. Believe me. You know, if somebody says, mm-hmm. oh, I like your shirt or, oh, your hair looks good today. Nah, thanks. And then I move. I don't even think, you know, mm. I take the compliment and move on. But at work, it's just, why? Why? Yeah. I'm going to really scale back on any compliments. <laughs> what if it's about your work? <laughs> Fine. Oh. That is actually productive. Hmm, interesting. Yes. Why would anyone do that? No, we, right, we don't Grayson, hear. what do you want to say about people talking about people's bodies or looks at work? Um, yeah, y'all, I'm a total AML. I'm so surprised that I'm actually on the radio. I've been listening to y'all for like the last six years. I love everybody. Thank That's you. so Thank nice. You. I wanted Thank to you. Say real, I want to say real quick um, that it's not only just talking about a woman's body, but like when a woman is carrying a child Mm. automatically i was at work i just have have an eight month old and so many people were like grayson your face looks sad (laughs) or like are you having twins because you're so big and i'm like god you know i know i i mean it wasn't i mean i love i love my job and i love the people i work with they're like family to me and you know it's some i work for a nonprofit, so it's like some volunteers and i'm totally fine with it like i get it like some it might be a generational thing or you know, I don't know, but um, I mean, they like apologized after I, you know, burst in tears because I was emotional and, you know, six months pregnant. But yeah. um, it's all, you know, and also people in the grocery store are like, oh, you know, you're so huge. And I'm just like, you know, how about, you know, what happened to like, you're glowing, you're beautiful, you're creating a human, you know, you're doing fantastic, uh-huh. you're crushing it, you know, instead of like, um, you know, talking about the complete obvious that every woman is completely obvious to that they are double their size. They yeah. are huge. Their yeah. belly is huge. Their face is full. Um, People are just rude, yeah, that's just true. in general. You know, thank you, Grayson. I, I, thank you for being the AML. I think Jason has some strong feelings about pregnant women that yeah, are very you know. complimentary. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Jason. <laughs> you know, no? yeah, oh, no, I mean, the I, oven I, theory <laughs> that was great. I I turned on the radio yesterday when y'all were talking about the oven theory, and I just burst out laughing. <laughs> you know, the what? The what? Jason, Jason, this is Jason is oh, allowed to his own oven. opinions. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's allowed to. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Grayson's fair-minded. Mm-hmm. Well, it's it's mostly facts, not opinions. But mm-hmm. uh, no, I think <laughs> yes. sometimes with women, and, and the way I would see it, like when I see somebody that's pregnant, a woman that's pregnant, 
And she <laughs> is. Oh, whoa, man. Thank you for clarifying. Are you sure, Jason? And she has Although a baby. this day and time, you just never know. <laughs> well, Jason stuff. didn't know that you needed to have an egg and a swimmer. Oh, like, uh, no, 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 yeah. Katie. Yeah. I was breaking news. Am, am I wrong? Re listen <laughs> to it. Am I wrong? Re listen to it. You well, you made the point it. about the surrogate. Anyway, that, you still have to have the egg and the sperm. But anyway, okay, go well, ahead. Not necessarily have to be a real one. But, anyways. Oh, my um, God. <laughs> gosh, now you just. Der- what a did pregnant I woman. Oh, a pregnant woman. Yeah. I basically, if you see like a big pregnant pregnant woman that wasn't big before in my mind i think okay healthy that's good for the baby oh that's a lie I didn't that's your know. first no, that's thought not, because true? i get worried like when um other people i've seen i like i couldn't even tell they were pregnant i guess that's oh, a I compliment but i'm like that makes me worried like where's the baby mm. okay mm. Mm. i did not expect that to come out of your mouth no no i think that's i think that's the con- misconception sometimes too even when people say that like you're huge. It's almost like, oh, you're huge. The baby is developing. Yeah, no, it's I don't, more of a compliment. Mm-mm. I don't but think that so. Com- uh, I, I think that's what they mean, but I think that is, it comes across not like that. Yeah, I don't think people, when they say that, they're thinking about the health of the baby. They're no. Just, they're just reacting either. to your size. Yeah. Really? I, don't, yeah. I don't think so. I don't so. think anyone's 100%. thinking. That baby, first of all, it's actually <laughs> it's not true. If you're a certain size, you could be like, Die pre diabetic, yeah, know, sure, or you could be because totally you're supposed to gain a pound, like uh, a pound think, per I, week. I think or whatever. that people think, oh, it's coming soon. I mean, it's, it's a positive thing. I don't think they're trying to be hurtful to you. Oh, I, I, don't don't. Th- I don't think they're trying to be mean, not no. mean, but it comes across. And of course, the person, like, nobody they, takes it as a compliment, like, you're huge, yeah, thank Who you. Says yeah. It? Who's excited about that? <laughs> right, nobody, yeah. no one. But I think All the right. person saying it is not coming across to have a bad compliment to you, is what I'm trying to get at. All right, mm. I don't yeah. see who, who would. Disagree. You think all those people are saying, oh, you're huge because I'm trying to hurt that person? No. I don't think it's a compliment. I didn't say that. Yeah. I said the perception is for that person is they're not co- trying to come across to be mean to you. I don't think people are trying to be mean. Not, no. Maybe not mean intentionally, but why, it, it, are, like, what's, what do you, yeah. why are you saying well, it? Well, they're, they're saying it for big. a reason. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you big now? Now, if you're not pregnant and they're just going around saying, dang, you're big, like after the holidays and you're <laughs> a woman, that's not nice. <laughs> Or yeah. a man. Or a man. You wouldn't want to hear that Although either, would you? Although more acceptable make fun of fat men. It's yes, true. it's oh, yeah. true. It's really difficult mm-hmm. for us to, to do all this stuff. Yeah, I don't stuff. know how you guys survive.